Six activists spraying orange paint across the Home Office, MI5, the Bank of England and Rupert Murdoch's News UK headquarters at London Bridge. A lot of paint too. Well, they say the building's targeted for representing what they said were the pillars supporting and maintaining the power of the fossil fuel economy. City of London police saying two people were arrested outside the Bank of England. Let's... Uh, reflect on the month-long protests, how they actually achieve anything, or are people now just growing frustrated by those actions? Joining us, climate columnist at The Independent newspaper, Donica McCarthy. Donica, thanks for your time. Um, they've certainly got the publicity, but one just wonders whether they've got the sympathy of the public on this. Well, it's interesting. There was a, a national poll carried out last week by Amnesis, and it said that two-thirds of the public support disruptive, peaceful direct actions and to protect the environment. And what the other interesting point is since XOR and Just Up Oil started their campaign to demand no new fossil fuel investments and the investments to be put into renewables and insulation instead, insignificant bodies have actually come out in support of that demand. That includes the International Energy Agency, includes the European Bank, includes the Labour Party, the SNP. And interestingly, this week, the UN itself said there is no path to net zero without uh, stopping all new investments in fossil fuels. OK, but we do remember there was another group, uh, Insulation UK, and they were stopping the uh, motorway uh, junctions, we remember, um, into last year particularly. Um, are they the same group, do we know, or is this another uh, bunch who've decided on this sort of direct action? Well, they're different groups, but obviously allied with, with the same type of uh, protest action. Um, Insulate Britain, interesting as well. I mean, both their issues are, are hugely important to the public in terms of the cost of living crisis. If we had invested, stopped investing in new in insulation in 2012, 16 million homes in Britain would now be paying less money for heating and, and energy bills this winter. So these, they're, what their demands are, are absolutely in line with what the public needs. Investment in cheaper renewables and insulation, bring down the cost of living and to tackle the crisis on climate. Yeah, but uh, a lot of people have been reflecting that the uh, work needed to undo the graffiti and the paint and to undo the glue on the roads require petroleum products to do that job. Yeah, you're talking about like not, 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 not one percent of of what of what's been used in the petroleum industry. Look, what th what's happening this year is the government is pouring 150 billion pounds worth of taxpayers' money into subsidies for North Sea Oil and for the the energy companies. If that money was had been invested in renewables and and insulation, homeowners would not be facing the many homeowners would not be facing choice between food and heat this winter. It's time for the government to to join with the rest of society and act on blocking all new fossil fuel investments and instead invest that money in 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 energy and and insulation that will cut bills. Yeah, the reality is though, renewables just won't cut it if, for instance, as was said last year, we get the wrong kind of wind i.e. it's either too strong in the winter that the turbines can't cope with it, or we get periods of high pressure when they don't turn at all. Well, the idea that we have too much wind is obviously means that we're going the right direction. All that needs now to happen is we need to invest in storage, as I have done with my home. I haven't bought a single kilowatt of gas or electricity since April this year because I have a store, I, my solar panels produce energy during the day and the battery supplies it to me at night time. That's what we need to be doing at the national scale and the government is failing to do that at speed necessary. Right. So can I just press it? How do you get the battery? Because that's been the problem, isn't it? The battery technology, you can actually get the, obviously the power, but it's actually then holding on to it. Yeah, I mean, up to this year, I've had solar power in my house for 20 years, so obviously I had to maximise my use during the day. But yeah. now I've got so the sun shining in my house at night time, which is actually doing my head in still, because when I'm cooking at night time, the battery supplies the energy that the sun's stu stuck into it during the day. It's wonderful. I love it. I wish every home in Britain had what I have. OK, but the problem is you just can't get to sleep, I suppose. But there we are. Donica, as ever, <laughs> thanks very much for joining us and bringing us your view.